Happy New Year everyone. We hope you had a good break over the festive period. It's taken us a few weeks now to get over the build up over Christmas, um, but we're starting to get on top of it now and think about all the other things that need our attention. Um, we took some time to unwind and reflect uh, what was a truly incredible year for us, both personally and as a business. We started last year moving the business 400 miles north from Henley to Perth. We packed two looting vans to the gunnels and Oliver and I drove them up um, to our new office here in Perth. And since then it's been a kind of really convoluted web of strangeness that has uh, taken Marlowe and us personally through the ringer a wee bit and spat us out the other side. Um, but like most, when coronavirus arrived, we had to write off many of our plans for last year uh, and shelve a lot of other stuff. The same was true for our production schedules. Month by month, not knowing if the deadlines were going to be hit, um, depending on the local lockdown states of each of our manufacturers. Some projects shifted later into the year and others into this year. Um, we did release a video at the tail end of 2020, just detailing all our plans. Um, and I've, I will put a wee link in the thing below. But here we are in the first few weeks of the new year and already we're in a lockdown here in Scotland. Um, it's quite a severe lockdown, the same as circa April, May last year. Um, but this time we have the benefit um, of experience and hindsight on how to operate during a lockdown, so it's not impacting us too much this time, and we can operate as normally as you can under these kind of circumstances. We thought we'd kick off with a wee update just where we are and what we're up to, um, and what we've got planned for the coming year. With the new lockdown in effect, it's already disturbingly looking like last year. Um, but with the promise of a vaccine on the horizon, um, for us, young ones, um, I say young ones, it's, it's hope enough that we can start planning out things and setting targets in the sand um, and hoping that we can hit them. On the production side, we have a new Haskell arriving in four to six weeks. We have the 42mm Solent, which will be arriving around springtime. We did have to postpone that project a little bit the reasons for which will go over in its own specific episode for the Solent. Um, Spring will see a further collection based around the Campbell family's achievements and the Pacific project is now signed off and we're waiting on final production prototypes which should arrive shortly. That's a really exciting um, range and again we'll go over that in its own specific episode. Um, and the other projects are progressing slowly but surely um, as the world tries to open itself back up again. So we'll keep notching away at this um, and trying to manage the situation as well as possible. This year is going to be exciting despite the setbacks for we will move into our new purpose-built headquarters on the banks of Loch Leven, just outside Kinross where I live. Um, we've been keeping it quite close to our chest as it's been developed um, and delayed due to COVID. Um, but work continues uh, on site and we're still aiming for a summertime entry. So many exciting things can evolve from us moving into this um, new place. Um, most excitingly of which is the assembly of our own watches in house, um, the transition towards manufacturing in Britain, um, as well as being able to host a bunch of events and workshops and things like that. So it's a really, really exciting time and we need to keep our fingers crossed that things go to schedule. So that's where we are. We are desperately clinging on to the hope that we get through this pandemic soon and back to some semblance of normality. We will continue forging our own path as we see it and update you as we navigate through these constantly shifting landscapes. Um, on the one hand, it's perpetually frustrating uh, living and working through this worldwide struggle. It can often overwhelm if you let it, and it has done for me a couple of times. Um, 
But on the other hand, like Arnie said the other day when he was trying to quell the unrest in America, the strongest steel is forged in the hottest fires. And we are going through an unprecedented experience, all of us. But if we can somehow deflect that um, in the right way, we'll come out of it stronger than we ever could have um, otherwise. So on that note, stay safe and we'll catch up soon enough.